Hi, I'm Carlo Bella. Welcome to At Home with Pace African and Oceanic Art. Today, we're going to take a look at Amana, the art of existence in Mali. Amana's culture was among the first to impact the early modernist artists in Paris, such as Picasso, Braque, and the Rain. So to speak, uh, Baman Art went public in 1950 with a blockbuster exhibition organized at the Museum of Primitive Art in New York by Robert Goldwater. The next time we see an exhibition to, dedicated to Baman Art happened in 1986 at the Metropolitan Museum with a nice catalog edited by Kate Ezra. And finally, we have the summary of 100 years of scholarship. Here it is, our book, our exhibition in 2001. I like this book because it has a very nice selection of uh, objects. And uh, rule of thumb for me, if I like the objects, then I want to read the text. And the text in this case is very informative. And uh, it is also complete with very nice uh, field photographs taken in the 20s, 30s. The book, the essays are essentially divided into two groups. The first group, deals with Bamana institutions and society, while the second focuses on Bamana aesthetics. Bamana artists focus on the simplification, schematization of forms. The object is not a naturalistic or realistic depiction of what they see, rather a schematic construction to capture and suggest the essence of what they want to portray. Bamana artists excelled in the smelting of iron and producing fantastic iron sculptures. And in this, the schematization, the reduction essential to essential forms is very evident in iron works of this type. Schematic forms and schematic volumes to depict the human form, absolutely incredibly inventive and fantastic. Among the most iconic examples of Bamana sculpture are these objects called chiwaras. As you can see, the inventiveness of the artist is incredible, as well as the reduction to essential lines to convey the idea of a gazelle, of an animal that springs here and there in the fields. I like chiwaras very, very much. And we are lucky to have just acquired a spectacular piece from the collection of Jean and Noble Endicott, publishing this book. And it is the object photographed here, which is a very unusual example of Chihuahua that totally exemplify the simplicity and the schematics concept that the artists have used to convey the idea of a Chihuahua, of a gazelle. Among the masks that uh, sort of resonate with Cubism is uh, this mask that is uh, also currently part of our collection, formerly in the collection of uh, Tom Alexander of St. Louis. It was a real pleasure to see the exhibition and it is a real pleasure to reread the catalogue almost 20 years later. I remember always loving Bamana art and being particularly excited because I had also lent objects from my own personal collection to this fantastic exhibition.